Breaking news. IBB releases another word into the political arena ahead of 2023. Blast Tinubu Atiku Abubakar orders tells them Nigerians' pro problem have defiled cosmetic solution. We don't want another Buhari. Hello, my wonderful people. I cannot believe Atiku is speaking in this regard and in this light. And he's telling them, I mean, he's not even missing words. He has told Atiku and Buhari, uh, Atiku and I beg your pardon, Tinubu to go and um, have a rest, a real good rest, because um, they are a, a qualifies them to be his uh, his colleagues when it what he means by that is people who have the same age range although they are not same age Tinubu said he's 69 mm -hmm. uh, Babangida is in his 70s or 80s so Atiku is in his 70s yeah we're very sure of that so that's what is happening. Well, he's saying ah, ah, Nigeria has passed cosmetic surgery uh, level. Oh, please eh? go and look for your mates and your match. This is no longer business as usual. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Babangida releases another into the political arena tells Atiku Tinubu others to go and relax. Nigerians' problem have defiled cosmetic solution, IBB warns. Former, former military president general Ibrahim Badamusi Babangeda, IBB, said Nigeria is forced with is forced now to get the best out of the best. With multiple and complex challenges. We have defiled easy solution and cosmetic makeup to cover up. The likes of Tinubu and Atiku should go and rest, encourage and bring out young, vibrant candidates who could potentially run the affairs of the nation. He therefore called for the country to take their appropriate turn to salvage the country, including enthroning competent, patriotic leader who are ready to make sacrifice today for the country to have a better future. Those who have lived and have done well should go and relax. Tinubu came to me saying he wants to contest Atiku Abubakar. I humor them and I have expected their coming. However, I feel strongly that Nigerians' problem had defiled cosmetic solution and will need real hands to get on board so that this country can be free. We can't continue with business as usual. IBB, who received the National Chairman of the People Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Aye, at his hilltop residence in Mina, said, the present generation must make sacrifices to take the country to tomorrow's safe, safe abode. We cannot continue with the same thing again. Over and over, the country is dying. The former military head leader said he was aware that the challenges are inherent, like democracy, development, as field of competence over the public interest and keeping faith with the founding founding fathers vision that inspired the founding fathers and mothers who went on with the courage to ensure that we get our own nation today this very nation has been destroyed by the very same people they handed it over with to and so nigerians must do all they possibly can to ensure we do not give this nation into the hands of those who are selfish of their own selfish agenda and volition. So this is what is happening right now. Uh, Babangida says we must not continue with the same set of people and expect a different result. As a matter of fact, he's of the opinion that the likes of Atiku and Tinubu should go and rest and that they should support a younger, viable candidate that will bring about, you know, true democracy that will ensure they make sacrifice and bring, you know, Nigeria into that desirable place that we all want to be and take this nation to. Do you know nations like Abu Dhabi, um, nations like, I, I mean to say, uh, uh, Malaysia, uh, some of these small, small islands, do you know that they've so made their country in such a way that their passport is very, very strong? They don't need to go and investigate. 
A Malaysian does not need to go and take an American passport, British passport for them to travel. Their passport is that secure. They've made, they've, they've worked on themselves. Their import, their export is good. They are not going about borrowing like your president is doing. So they have a good position, so much so that, you know, they've made these things strong for them. And so they have, you know, potential and opportunity to be able to display good, you know, for their people and bring about, you know, change. So they are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that, you know, they keep their their, their wealth in their country. There is job creation. If you work, you see your money, things are rolling well. So when countries are doing well financially, their exports, their imports, their trade, their national GDP, and everything is intact, your, your prospectus will rise. Nobody will tell you, don't come into my country or come into my country. It, it's in, it, it, you know, it's, it's tit for tat. If you do well, you will see well. If you do anyhow, you will see it. It's just, it's just the way it rolls. If Nigeria all of a sudden, yeah, we begin to build our natural nat national resources, we are exporting, we are doing very well, there is job creation, we have less people who are going to look for greener pastures because the country is green, the land is green, things are going well. Let's listen. Even our visa application for Britain and the rest of them will start going down because, you know, if you follow the law of demand and supply, is when demand is high and supply is low, then price of things shoot up. Yes? But when demand is low, supply is high. They want to give people visa. There's nobody coming. Guess what? The uh, price will go down. It, 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 there's no miracle about it. It's just demand and supply low. That's the way it works. You don't need a prophet to come and tell you that this is the way it works. That's, it's just as simple as ABC. So, for instance, you go to American embassy, you see people queuing up as early as 5 a.m., waiting for the constable to come in so that they can, and you are praying, you are fasting. Those who are holding rosaries or Quran or whatever, whatever they are holding, some are holding charms just to get favor. I'm just, I'm speaking, you understand, you know these things now. But if we put our house in order, we don't need all those things. That's where I'm driving and we don't need them. That's where I'm driving at. If we put our house in order. We have good leaders that begin to put things in order. We don't need any of those things. You will just go there, collect it, go home, thank God, buy your flight ticket and you travel. It's as easy as that. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.